I really hate to be the one to tell you this, but that guy, your neighbor? Jerry, I just met him. Yeah, he's a vampire man. Jerry? That is a terrible vampire name. Gonna kill a vampire. Good for you. Jerry's fairly vicious. He's not lovelorn, he's not brooding, he's thirsty and he's hungry. <laughs> hey guy, you got a lot on your shoulders for a kid. Your mom and your girl, it's on you to look out for them. You up for that guy? Charlie Brewster seeks out Peter to help him in the fight against his next door neighbor. Mr. Vincent, say I want to kill a vampire. <laughs> well, you got fire. Beheading. Or go traditional. Stake through the heart. Bow! Garlic crosses. <laughs> you can make him a big garlicky omelet. <laughs> Is that a stick you were twiddling? No. Maybe. And in preparation of it, you find yourself kind of getting into the realm of vampire logic. Charlie, he's gonna find me. I'm counting on it. And, you know, at a certain stage, you just trust certain conventions. I repel you with the power of Christ the Lord. But some of them are modified as well. Really? I'm gonna end him or he's gonna end me. Come on now! Let's kill something. From guns to elaborate stakes to crossbows. It's really, really cool. This movie really steps up the weapons you can use to battle a vampire. Hey. Just hit him! Hit him! Did I kill him? Obviously you can't get in without an invitation. Don't need an invitation if there's no house.